You are welcome to another video of the course Yang Based Network Automation using Netconf, ResConf, and GNMI. This is the first lesson of a new module network automation with GNMI protocol. In this section, we will learn what is Google RPC and GNMI, and also we will compare GNMI protocol with the other Yang Based Network Automation protocols, Netconf and ResConf protocols. What are Google RPC and GNMI network automation? RPC is a protocol that allows one program to request a service from another program located in a remote computer. Probably you remember that NetConf protocol uses RPC command to request to get or change configuration in network devices. Google RPC is a Google version of RPC which is more efficient and faster. It was developed by Google to enable microservices to communicate with each other in a more efficient way. The details of Google RPC are not important to us. We should only know that it uses protocol buffers or proto buffs to decode the data between remote systems. You can compare proto buffs to XML and JSON used in NetConf and ResConf to encode the data. Proto buffs is not human readable like XML and JSON but it's more efficient and faster. GNMI or Google RPC Network Management Interface is a specific version of gRPC for network automation or network management. It is based on Yang data structure like NetConf and ResConf and this is the main topic of this module. The protocols GNMI NetConf and ResConf, all of them are based on Yang data structure. NetConf transfer commands to the network devices over SSH, ResConf over HTTP, and GNMI over HTTP version 2. In NetConf, we use RPC command to get the configuration or to edit the configuration of network devices. The command get and get config are used to get the configuration or a statistics and the command edit config is used to change the configuration. In ResConf, we use HTTP commands, mostly get and put to get or change the configuration. GNMI, we use Google RPC commands, capabilities to get supported Yang data structures and capabilities, get to get the configuration and set command to change the configuration. Finally, a new command compared to netconf and resconf, subscribe in which any application can subscribe itself to any data in supported Yang data structure in GNMI protocol. Subscribing allows the data to be streamed to the requester at regular intervals and also whenever changes. For example, you can subscribe to the status of the interface. When the state of the interface changes, this is a stream to the application. The data sent or received over NetConf protocol is encoded using XML, but both XML and JSON are supported in ResConf protocols. Proto buffers, protocol buffers or Proto buffs and also JSON are supported in new GNMI protocols. To demonstrate GNMI, unfortunately, most Cisco devices don't support GNMI or support it partially. According to the Cisco documentation, Cisco network devices running NX OS beginning with the version 9.3.3 or later fully support GNMI commands. Therefore, we will use Arista network devices to demonstrate GNMI protocol. I use an Arista example GNMI demonstration video on YouTube and also Arista open config GitHub link in this module for GNMI demonstration. 